Hello everybody. Welcome to Coffee Shop Thursday. You got your cup of coffee handy? I got mine. Mmm. Look at that beautiful fall leaves on that mug. Beautiful fall leaves on the tree. Uh, get out there and take a good look at them before they all go away with the wind and the rain and the snow. Ah, it's on its way. What else is on its way? Ah, it's the new heaven and the new earth. Or is it already here? Is it a part of our reality? Hey, you know what we're going to do in Coffee Shop Thursday today? We're going to talk the book of Revelation. And we're going to skip all that stuff that's from the beginning up until chapter 21. Because, man, it's kind of crazy. And sometimes it's hard to understand. But when we get to chapter 21, as one commentator wrote, Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Because... This is what is in store for us. And in fact, maybe it's a reality that we need to open our eyes to. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. What? Hey, I love going to the ocean. Well, not me personally, but I'm sure a lot of you do. No more sea? Hey, wait a minute. This is important stuff here because the sea was symbolic of everything that's chaotic and and evil lurks there and death and now it's no more hey we gotta read on revelation 21 1 through 6 and i saw the holy city the new jerusalem coming down out of heaven oh wait a minute you, you mean we're not going to be raptured and and zipped out of this world escapism no that's not what it's about it's the new Jerusalem coming down to us. We all know the old Jerusalem. We all know the trials and the tribulations that it goes through and has gone through. Something brand new is about to happen. This is exciting. I heard a voice from the throne say, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his people and God himself will be with them. God isn't way far away up there looking down on us, watching us beat ourselves up. No, he's right here in our midst right now. Look at this. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. The first things have passed away. The first things have passed away. Pain, misery, suffering, death. Those things are gone. That's a promise that we have from God. That's the spoiler alert. I'm going to drink a sip of coffee to that. Mm. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is a wonderful God who will bring us peace, love, hope, justice. Write these words because they are trustworthy and true. It's done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. On this coming Sunday, when we celebrate all saints, we celebrate those who we dearly miss right now, those that we love and have, have passed away, but we realize, hey, we're all part of this grand and glorious thing called the New Jerusalem. And all, you know what? We still live in this earth under the old Jerusalem, but underneath it all, the reality is in Christ, we are new creations. This isn't part of the text here, but it goes back to our other writings in the Newer Testament. In Christ, all things have been made new, and they will be new, and the first things will be gone, passed away, and we will live in the new Jerusalem. I love this passage. I read it at all the funerals that I officiate at. 
because it is a passage. It's full of hope and full of promise. And it, it says, you know what? Yes, as mortal creatures, we miss those that we love and care for while they were here on earth. But you know, something awesome awaits all of us. And it is there even now as a present reality as we rely on the comfort, love, and strength of our loving God. Well, blessings be with you on this day. It's looking like it's going to be pretty sunny out there just a little bit later. So go out and enjoy a nice walk in this wonderful creation that, you know what? I bet you, I bet you we can see just a hint of God's wonderful things he has in store for us in the new Jerusalem while we take that walk in the beautiful autumn sunshine. God's blessings be with you today.